All right. Ugh, I'm back. You know, when I was a teacher, I actually thought about it a couple times, like, in my worst moments, I thought about bringing some sort of alcoholic beverage with me to school and, like, hiding it in a water bottle or whatever. Thought about it. Thought about it. Never did it. But I did think about it. At, like, when times are at their worst. I definitely thought about it. Play Mario Golf? No. <laughs> I should have. The, the risk wasn't worth the reward. Fish falling from the sky. I mean, he didn't lie about that. But, like, usually I'm not about the whole, like, Barb, you deserve that. I I deserve every death where I get hit by a random fish from the sky. I deserve every single one of those. I'm not, I'm not even gonna front. No fronting about it. I don't understand why there are spinies also falling from the sky. I was promised fish from the sky. Did I finish Dark Souls 1? Yes, I beat Dark Souls 1. Yeah, the teacher that did that, trust me, you can tell. It's not even so much to get, like, wasted or drunk or anything. It was more of just, like, um... Like, I never did it. I honestly never did it. I would tell you guys if I did it. It was just to, like, take the edge off. You know what I mean? Just take the edge off. But I never did it. Oh, we got a... This is one... That's a friendship windmill, if I've ever seen one. Right? Dodge the friendship windmill. What kind of whiskey do I partake? I very, very rarely drink. Like, I drink, like, once every six months. Not a big drinker. Somebody explain that to me. Did somebody... Can somebody explain... Why I died like that? I'd love to hear it. Love to hear the in-depth explanation of why I died like that. I got nervous? What, like in, in teaching? Fuck yeah. I mean, eventually eventually the nervousness faded to just pure agony, but for a while I was extremely nervous. Being a first year teacher is very stressful. Sure. Something something, Master and Commander, something something. Yeah, lots of cool tech in this level. What's next? 30 seconds. It is every single speedrun level ever. Cool. Shit. Is this super expert? Yep. What up, Rebel Raz? Okay, so we're just we're just traveling. We're not the bomb isn't for anything. 
You never drank coffee? Mistakes. Mistakes were made. We, we can just we can just agree mistakes were made. Oh, no. Never wearing a coffee? Coffee's good. I like coffee a lot. Really? No. Not everything's for everybody. I can't drink- I probably will never ever drink black coffee. As much as I like coffee, I don't like the idea of bean water. Probably each their own. So do I want to hit that? And then jump? Or what do I want to do? Coffee smells amazing. I don't know how you drink black coffee. I don't know how you do it. Even just like a little bit of sugar or a little bit of, of cream or something. Or something. You love black coffee? I don't know how you do it, man. Whiskey on the rocks of the coffee world. You can't enjoy coffee any other way. I don't know, man. Black coffee, not for me. Wah jump. Wah jump? Shit. Do I need that? You know, I gotta be honest, I've never seen that. Shit. <laughs> never seen that before. Would I punch someone if you met the real person who made the worst level in the game? No, I don't care. Oh, no. Yeah, new tech. Lots of new tech today. Would you please go down? Why isn't he going down? Would you guys believe I've never punched someone in the face ever in my entire life? 
But, I've never punched someone in the face in my entire life, but I almost gouged somebody's eyes out once. <laughs> and that is 100% a true fact about Barb. I've been punched in the face before. Uh, at least twice. Fuck. How does it even happen? Uh, well, I was in a fight and I put the person in like a headlock and he was like swinging his arms wildly and I was just trying to stop the fight. And I don't know, it was just kind of instinct. So my hands, like, my thumb and forefinger were like like here and I just started like slowly pressing in it was like instinct I just started slowly pressing my my thumb and forefinger into his eyes <laughs> I mean I didn't gouge his eyes out but I got that going for me it was instinct it wasn't it was like 100% instinct I should maybe I should do that differently did he stop? Yeah, he eventually stopped, and then when I let him out of the headlock, he that's when he punched me in the face. Oh. It's the most serial killer thing you've heard all year. <laughs> so the fight, he like the fight, he like swung at me. I he missed. I put him in the headlock. I told him to stop. I almost gouged his eyes out. I let him go, and then he punched me in the face. That's how the fight went. And then the fight stopped. I didn't get knocked out or anything. I didn't even get knocked down. But he just punched me in the face that one time. Yeah, next next time I'll uh, gouge his eyes out. How big was he compared to me? Maybe like a little bit shorter. Uh, this was like this was like middle school. It was so long ago. <laughs> You know, of all the of all the things that could have happened there. Uh, what up, Catbug? Yeah, the guy was an asshole. He ended up uh, like beating his girlfriend or something. He got like arrested or whatever. So. It's, it's true though. It's a one hundred percent true story. Shout out to the people from uh, St. Augustine, Florida. They, they keep it classy there. There we go. Okay. You know, I I I sensed a thwomp. I just sensed it. Just sensed it. <laughs> oh. You eat snakes for breakfast? I've heard snake is actually really good. You know, last year for Christmas, I bought my dad a full rabbit. I wonder what I should get my dad this year. Maybe like a chunk of elk or something. I gotta go to a butcher's shop. What's up, Gabe, for real? Shark? Is it? Ooh. Get him some moose knuckle. <laughs> You got pranked, Uncle Altus? What's up, drum? Oh, I have to do it again. 
Buffalo cheeseburgers? Penguin meat? You've never eaten a fucking penguin. Shut the fuck up. Never eaten a fucking penguin. Fucking liars. Why do you make me go left all of a sudden? Bullshit. Have I tried zebra? No, I've never tried zebra. I'll bite, I'll bite. What does penguin taste like? If you say like chicken, you're a fucking troll. What does what does what does penguin taste like? Unicorn is awesome. It's like fish. Tastes fishy. I guess that kinda makes sense, right? I, I will honestly say I didn't know people ate penguin. I did not know. Raw puffin heart? <laughs> what do puffins ever do to anybody, man? Leave the puffins alone. You may as well just eat, like, live kittens. <laughs> you may as well just do that. Yeah, if I'm ever in the south end of Chile, I'll definitely remember this conversation, Pika, and try some, uh, <laughs> try some, some penguin. Any day now. Uh oh, I see. Fine. What's in the what's in the pipe? What's in the pipe? Okay, one left of the pipe is a mushroom. Spider anus? No, get the fuck out. Spiders don't have anuses. <laughs> I don't even. I don't even believe spiders have anuses. You guys are just lying. You guys are trying to make me believe that they eat these things in countries where they clearly don't eat these things.
That's not the anus, though. You don't make- you don't- they don't make- they don't make webs from their anuses. They have, like, cloacas or some shit. A, a spider does not have a regular fucking anus. <laughs> but the, the, the sad truth of the matter is, I don't know enough about spiders to say definitively whether they have- a, whether they have anuses or not. <laughs> uh, yo! D-Girl! Thank you for that host. Appreciate that. How's it going, D-Girl? Thank you for the host. What were you streaming? A spider does have an anus. Seriously, spiders have anuses. They're just called the anus. They're not called, like, the cloaxa or some shit. Like, I can't believe a spider actually has an anus. I don't believe it. Yeah, you join. It was the you joined during the most enlightened conversation ever. We're arguing whether spiders have anuses or not. Why do I even need the spring? That was kind of cool. You don't need the spring. You fuckface. Why did I even bother? <laughs> spiders have anuses. Name means dick girl. Oh, welcome to the stream, dick girl. Thank you for the host. <laughs> We're talking about spider anuses. Apparently, spiders have anuses. I didn't know. <laughs> I would if you if you put a gun in my head and they were like, "Do spiders have anuses?" I'd be like. <laughs> No! And I would fucking die. And I would fucking die. Right then and there. They would just put a bullet in me, because I'd be wrong. Because I would say spiders don't have anuses. <laughs> At the end, most spiders convert nitrogenous bases into uric acid which can be excreted as dry material. Finally, spiders use little tubes called malphigian tubules to extract these wastes from the blood in the hemocoil and dump them into the cloacal chamber. From so they do have a cloaca. They're expelled through the anus. 